What's good, y'all? Chris from Josh'sCaseBreaks.com. We got it done. 2023 Bowman Baseball Jumbo 8-Box Case PYT number 25. Required of the 19-team team, team random. But we appreciate getting a spot straight up or in the filler. We are all good to go. Let's switch screens. Our big, beautiful boy. And right here. PYT 25. You see that bow 8 next to your name. You mean you won that from the blaster. The one filler for it. So thanks again, everyone. David with the D-backs. All the way down to David with the Nats and the filler. Grand opening, grand closing. Thanks again, everyone. Let's rock and roll. Eight box jumbo. I have not done a jumbo case of Bowman in a while. A few personals here and there, and some blasters and some megas, which have always a good time. But let's get it started. In this break, just so we more clear, switch one time. All card ship besides paper veterans and non first prospects. All chrome ship, all first paper ship, and all rookie card paper ship. Everything else donated. And a wax party spot being given away at the end of the break. Do not let me forget that. I have not done one in a minute. But let's go back. Let's get back to the fun stuff here, yeah? So I've usually been pretty decent about remembering, but okay. do not let me. Have our list of rookies and and prospects we top load as well. Obviously, guys like Abby Rutschman, Gunnar Henderson, who has really picked things up at the major league level the last couple weeks. There's Abby right there. Prospects like Cam Collier, Drew Jones, of course, your cover boy, along with Gunnar, Spencer Jones, Edward Julian for the Twins. So a few guys that we have. So if you see any of those guys not get sued at top, but don't worry, the sorting and shipping team will take care of it. Make sure we got that all good to go when they ship. Let's do it. First of eight boxes. I'll be focusing on just the prospects here that we're looking for. Mike Drew Jones. Paper first. All the Drew Joneses we're going to are going to go to David at the D batch straight up. Masataka Yoshida rookie in there. Who has been just electric for those Red Sox? We go first, Cam Collier. There's an Adley and a Corbin Carroll, another guy on that list. So, no fear. All the Cam Collier going to the Reds, our top team in the giveaway, which David got. Nice, David. Spotlight on the Tamar Johnson. William Bergola. Bergola going to the Phillies. Robert got the Phillies straight up. But Tamar Johnson going to the Pirates. And Brian.
First auto. It's going to be Josue de Paula. Nice little color match there on the blue. 20 out of 150. The blue Lunar going to the Dodgers. Brian G got those Dodgers straight up. Pretty sure. Let me double check. I think Josue de Paula has been kind of killing it right now. If he's who I am thinking about. It's a big dodger in this list. Yeah, okay. Let's wait to Paula. One of uh one of the more sneaky good names. Francisco Alvarez on the spotlight. First Edward Julian. Drew Jones Chrome first. All the Edward Julians going to the Twins and Steve Lock, and one more Jude Drones Chrome this time. Francisco Alvarez going to the Mets and David. Got that one from the filler too. Pretty dang awesome for the Cardinals, despite that team not being pulling their weight as well. I think so. The worst team in the NL? Edwin Arroyo, 63 out of 175 for the Reds. And David, non first. Blue Jorge Burgos for the Cleveland Guardians. And Matthew, 37 out of 150 for the first. Second auto, going to be Ariel Almonte. Chrome first auto for the Reds. First one going to David. He's got a few teams in this. Let's see how many he can get. And our last auto going to be Juan Alonso. Gold. Nice gold shimmer on the first auto. 11 out of 50. One more for Ryan and the Dodgers. Very nice. 11 out of 50. Of a gold Bowman first. Yellow on the first, 59 out of 75, Robert Perez Jr. for the Seattle Mariners, TJ, one of our other two big teams. Number 21, Mariners pro prospect, TJ. Got the Mariners in the team random, the filler. Excuse me. Chris Bryant, 486 out of 499. Colorado Rockies, Steven. Box two.
The cube. Box two. Look, everyone. Spencer Jones, Bowman first for the Yankees. All the Spencer Joneses going to the Yankees and Roberts. And for Julian. Zach Neto playing a pretty solid rookie shortstop for the Angels. For the Angels, as Corbin Carroll spotlight for the D backs. Right, Drew Jones paper. Quill Watson for the Marlins. One more Spencer Jones. Nice. Here's a nice one for the Mariners. Lazaro Montes on the Bowman first refractor auto. 278 out of 499. One of the top chases in this year's Bowman. Nice one. Out of 499 for the Mariners and TJ. What's up, Kenny? It's good, man. Yeah, plenty of basketball. New team breaks here. If you are new, jessiscasebreaks.com. All the basketball we have on the site right now. A couple different mixers. Some Bowman University Chrome. Woo. Hey, how's it going? I got y'all. I got y'all. Let me uh, drop this in the chat real quick. Here's the basketball section right now. Some high-end stuff, some eminence basketball as well. Josh Young, the Chrome rookie. Lime Green first, Dion Jorge. Colorado Rockies and Steven at a 399. Edward 
Julian Chrome first. Next out, I mean, Luis Garcia for the Toronto Blue Jays. Going to Will. Justin Crawford, paper first. I think it's the first Justin Crawford we hit. Justin Crawford, all the Crawfords go to Robert. Got the Phillies straight up. Teal Shimmer, going to be Zach Galoff. 120 out of 125 for the Oakland A's and Jared. Dominic Canzone, purple on the Bowman First Auto. 42 out of 250 for David and the D backs. Dominic Canzone, number 21 D backs prospect. And Collier, Chrome First. You cool if I shut the AC off for a few minutes? Yeah, you're good. Yeah, we found it. Out in the desert. And Collier, paper first. One more Cam Collier for the Reds. Box three now. Some nice colors so far. It's a couple bigger of the names. Let's see if we can keep it going here. Danielson versus Kazuchika Okada. That is so crazy. Someone in a Facebook group posted it because it was fake. So that's a weird way to show off. Just a flex. It makes that person feel better about themselves. Ah, never mind. Tough one. What? Etsy. I mean, I've seen some custom cards, but they're very queerly custom cards. <laughs> Or was this, you know, being advertised as a Shohei Rokiano? Blue 
blue. Cole Young, 38 out of 150. Non first here for the Mariners and TJ. Adley on the spotlight. Justin Crawford Bowman for his paper. Trey Sweeney on the Lunar for the Yanks. Adley spotlight for Aaron. He has been uh, as good as advertised. That kid is the real deal in Baltimore. Leo Cruz has been lighting it up the last couple weeks. Logan Wagner. Purple out of 250 for the Dodgers and Ryan. First auto of this box is going to be Vaughn Brown. Nice atomic. 53. Excuse me, 53 out of 100. Pretty sharp looking signature. What's the, uh, what's the square root of Brown, folks? 53 out of 100 on the Atomic for the Giants. Chris Butler gets that one straight up. Michael Harris, Spotlight, your reigning NL Rookie of the Year for the Atlanta Braves. Going to Jordan. Henry Davis, 83 out of 125, Bowman Scouts Top 100, first pick in the 2021 draft, and he's been lighting it up in the minors this year too, nice one for the Pirates, got an Axel Sanchez paper out of 499, one more for TJ and the Mariners, the Pirates, and Brian by the way, for that Henry Davis. Jones, one more for the Yanks. Next auto. Ambrose Tavares on the speckle, 211 out of 299 for Jordan and the Braves. Last auto of this box for the Orioles. Going to be Adam Crampton for Aaron. His Baltimore Orioles. Jones on the prospect. Modern prospects. Nice. Purple paper. 48 out of 199. Adley Rushman. Aaron having a nice box here for his Baltimore Orioles. Looking like most likely a little early in it, the results, but looks like maybe the AL starter for the All-Star team coming this July. He has been that dang good. Box 
Quattro. Isn't it incredible? Like, that's Samoa Joe. You want to talk about, like, all-time greats? Oh, my God. It's 20 years of this, pretty much. He was doing ROH stuff in 04 or 05, and obviously TNA, right around the same time. Got the long boys on tonight. Bring back the shorts, coward. You're facing you're facing Joe. Nigel comes in and just kills Punk after the match. Wouldn't that be so awesome? First auto. Gonna be Tommy Specht on the Specht Dole. Get it? Because it's... Never mind. Texas Rangers. And David got that one in the filler. Tommy Speck, 215 out of 299. Oh my god, please. <laughs> That'd be so funny. <laughs> Punk, Punk gets choked out. Kukina Clutch passes out. Jackson Holiday on the spotlight. Edward Julian. The Lunar on the Logan Wagner. A more Logan Wagner for the Dodgers and Ryan. Christian Vicaro spotlights. Interesting. Drew Jones, hit the first. I guess this is just from our reminder seeing Drew Jones and Jackson Holiday. Uh, hey, happy early Father's Day to anyone celebrating tomorrow. Any dads? Anyone celebrating with their dads? Christian Crawford from first. So I know, I think, actually I don't know. I think Jim Ross said that Jay White looks like a race horse. But it sounded like he said, Jay White looks like a racist. Now Jay White looking like a racist, folks. I think that'd be pretty funny. Well, he's Jordan on the Magenta, 272 out of 299 for the Boston Red Sox, and David. Well, 
Lava, Juan Alonso. 190 out of 399 for Ryan and the Dodgers. Bowman first. Lava. Byron Buxton to 175. And our next dot is going to be one more Luis Garcia. One more for Will and the Blue Jays. Buxton for the Twins. Steve gets those Twins straight up. It's all going to be Matthew Wood. Upside down purple. 183 out of 250. Purple Chrome first auto for the Brewers. And James. One for the filler. And Spencer Jones. Nice. Hostway to Paula. 76 out of 250 on the purple lava. Nice one for Ryan. One more time. One more Hostway to Paula. People call him Baby Yordan. You anything, Stud Muffin? No, I'm good, Superstar. All right. Hey, thanks for covering, man. Yeah, man. You get out of here. Are you doing no. anything tomorrow? What? You doing anything for Father's Day tomorrow? No. Just gonna chill. Yeah, I'm at that head surgery, so keep yeah. it home. Good call, yeah, man. Hope you're yeah. doing well. Yeah, he is. Herman, right, take it easy. Get on safe. I'll see you Monday or Tuesday. Monday. Monday. All right, second half of this case here. Box five. Diego, you know it's a pretty crazy statement. CM Punk is working a match with Juice Robinson. Can you imagine saying that ten years ago? Joe and Punk, let's go. I don't know why I did that. You had told me 10 years ago that hippie protester jobber Juice Robinson will be working a main event match with CM Punk. I don't know. I, I would think you would be smoking some something special. Something kind of crazy. Yes, excuse me, my bad. C.J. Parker. Everyone's favorite. C.J. Parker. Bullet Club member C.J. Parker. Bullet Club C.J. Parker versus Pepsi Boy. Main event match. What's up, Justin? Your Tigers, man. Congrats. Some Crawford. Paper first. We're chilling. Just doing some Bowman. Watching some wrestling on this Saturday night. First auto of this one going to be Randy DeJesus on the refractor. 384 out of 499. Thank you, Justin. 
I buzz my head and bleached it blonde. That's one for the Angels. And Matthew got that one from the Team Random. Crazy, right? Some purple chrome coming up for Roger Garis. 181 out of 250. Yeah, don't count out those reds, man. It's fun. I know that Central is not very competitive right now. Christian McCara, one more spotlight. One more Cam Collier paper, speaking of the Reds. I mean, I don't know. The Cardinals have been pretty bad. Cubs have been dealing with injuries. But healthy were pretty decent. Pirates were looking decent at 1.2. It's just kind of the Cardinals always been at the bottom this season so far. I expect them to turn it around, but the end of Central being at the very least interesting is always good for baseball. Thank you, Gilo. Nice to see you, baby. One more Justin Crawford. Chrome this time. Brewers in first by half, Red second, Pirates third, a <laughs> half out, game and a half out. Cubs fourth, three games out, Cardinals. I mean, the Cardinals have just been poopy. Is that? I don't know. Oh, I thought it was some right at the back there. I got excited. Jackson Holiday spotlight. Ellie Dio Cruz been just a spark plug for that Reds team right now. Cam Collier, Chrome first. Diane Frias and a magenta Kenny Gomez for the Houston Astros and Matthew 161 out of 199. The Diane Frias for the Guardians and Matthew. One more Cam, one more Jackson Holiday for Aaron and the O's. I don't think any of them will be buyers at the deadline. Really, if anything, I think maybe the Cubs should be sellers, but I think you know that too. Yeah, the Cardinals will go on some ridiculous devil magic run that they do every year. They're like, August, they'll win like 14 games in a row, and they'll go like 19 and 4 in the month. Just like something really stupid and annoying, and they'll be in. They'll be in it to win it. And they'll stumble into the playoffs and play spoiler to someone like the Dodgers or the Padres. It's very annoying. 55 out of 399, Marcos Cabrera, paper first for the Yankees. Although, really, I'm not worried about the Padres if I'm a Dodgers fan. I'm worried about the Diamondbacks. That team is very young, very scary. Diego knows how I feel about some of their guys. They've just been, oh my god, they just don't let up. They have not slowed down at all this season. Yeah, it's just injuries. Once your team comes back healthy, I think you'll be looking at least a little bit better. Next auto coming up here. Out of gold paper, Francisco Alvarez. Out of 50. Next auto going to be Friali Encarnacion. Boston Red Sox and David. Nice Frankie Gold for the Mets and David. I think Bieber is going to the D back, which is very annoying. Next auto going to be a Bowman Scouts Top 100. Adiel Amador. 60 out of 99. I think he's currently a rookie for the Rockies. And Steven. Giolito uh, or Bieber, I think, are going to be D backs in a month. Which, again, very annoying. I want one of those guys. I think the Dodgers will get one and the D backs will get the other. Or C, still in C. It may take a while. It may take a lot. It may take a lot to get him, but C has got a few years of control too. He was a good pickup for any team. That kid is good. Watch all those dudes get traded from the White Sox, and they all turn out to be good again. I really do think it's like an organizational thing. 
culture will be biased? Oh, I don't I don't know. Is J Justin Steele still out? Yeah. And I like Marcus Stroman. I think he's great for the league. Uh, I love his competitiveness. I love his passion. I love the swagger. But is this who he is for a full year? Going to be a race? I don't know. You might. I wouldn't be surprised. We uh, Dodgers, uh, the starting pitching is not the problem. It just isn't. I, I cannot believe how bad this bullpen has been. I just can't believe it. That was like always our thing, right? Like we just find these guys out of nowhere. Failed starters. You know, pitching prospects from, you know, seven, eight years ago and turn them into legit elite relievers, right? And I guess, I mean, the other shoe had to fall eventually with the Dodgers, you know, that being their bread and butter for so long. But, man, it's been frustrating. It's just been, once it gets to the seventh, I'm like, all right, how do we, how do we blow it this time? I know we've been dealing with injuries starting pitching-wise, but I just... I cannot believe how, how bad this bullpen has been. The guys we call up have been great, besides... I don't know about Michael Grove. Man, I don't know about Grove. Just put him back down. Bobby Miller has been electric. The kid we called up yesterday was really good. I mean, obviously it's a major league, you know, first start. We only have six innings, but I mean, six no-hit innings. Tough to beat. We're getting lucky with the pitching. The prospects turning out to be as good as advertised, but that yeah, I think Stomont and and Chapman for watch well, us give up like something stupid. The Dodgers are so desperate for bullpen up that they'll give up like I don't think Diego Cartaya. I don't I would like to think that not Diego Cartaya, but you know maybe Bush, maybe Stone. Something stupid that we should not be giving up for two relievers on rentals, but we're desperate, man. I think their reluctance to trade this past offseason for guys like uh, David Bednar for the Pirates um, is, is just biting us in the ass every game. And one guy doesn't fix it, every, obviously, but, man, got us again. Nice one, though. Some gold, Dominic Canzone. Double dipping on the DC for the D-backs. And David, but, man. Oh, we caught him again. I would not do that. I like I like Miggy. But there are a couple guys you can probably convince us to do. I wouldn't maybe take Stroman. I would love Marcus Stroman on this team. That dude's so dope. Bird Baby on the spotlight. How about those Mets, man? What is going on with that team, huh? So it's complacency. Drew Jones, Chrome first. They're just, you know, not, not heads around in the game. Like, what's going on with the Mets, man? There are Drew Jones, Modern Prospects. competitive season though for a lot of teams. I think the AL West is super competitive. You know, it's always fun seeing Shohei be great, but I think Shohei is just on another planet right now. By far the best player in baseball. He's leading the league in, in OPS. He's tied for the major league leading home runs. He's been electric as a pitcher. It's like first in batting average against like top twenties in ERA with like a three point ten I think something like that. He's just been incredible. And even then like They've got room to heat up. Like, Trout's not been, like, very good. There was an interesting article about him by Fangraphs where his he just, like, can't hit fastballs anymore. Hope he figures it out. Obviously, Mike Trout is just... When he's hitting, like, last year, that little eight-game home run streak, it's just, like, incredible. You know, 
and for the Angels, you know, a lot of their success is based on those two guys. But you know, Anthony Rendon has turned out to be pretty solid this year in his, his first real full season back, despite the suspension. Very weird start to his season, but he's been pretty good. A magenta, Jason Dominguez, out of two ninety nine for the Yankees. Robert. Now the pitching has been pretty solid. They're probably a couple pieces away though too. Hunter Renfro has been a good guy for them in the outfield. Jared Walsh has been a good platoon guy for them. When the Angels are good, you know, obviously it's good for uh, for Shohei and the hobby, but there we go. D-backs box here. Purple, 243 out of 250. David gets the Drew Jones Bowman first auto. Nice, man. Congrats. Oof. 243 out of 250. Drew Jones. Your number two pick. Number 12 overall prospect, according to MLB.com. Congrats, man. There we go. Hey, Drew Jones paper. Hey, nice hit. Um, he'll, right now, he's top three. But really, right now, it is uh, Ronald Acuna's to lose. I cannot believe how good that guy is. Jeffrey Solano out of 125 for the Marlins. And David. Last auto of this box will be Blaine Krim. Base for the Rangers and David. It's like David Box here. See the video of the Cubs and Angels plays and Suzuki was in the outfield of Otani. Yes. I did see that. Were they teammates at one point? Or did they, they, I know they both played in the uh, NPB. I don't know if it was a rivals thing or a, a teammates thing, but I wouldn't be surprised to see him in Chicago, actually. He's one of those. I think he wants to stay on the West Coast, but if he was going to go to another team, I could see Chicago. That's one green paper coming up. That's J. Raw, 367 out of 399 for Seattle, second year. On the J. Raw, I go to TJ. I think we did this one already, but just double check. Yeah, we got this one already. Never be too careful. I mean, I think, I really do think that he will stay an angel, despite all of the, uh, I don't want to say threats, but the, uh, the want, the desire to win and, and all that stuff, but, you know, I think with the angels showing signs of life, and really the last few years they've been drafting and developing pretty well. Zach Neto being a main example. They've, they've done a good job pitching-wise, drafted with, uh, with Sam Bachman and, uh, What's that kid's name? With with just the absolute insane stuff. It was like 103 with movement and all these crazy fastballs. All right, box seven here. We have some. We've hit some big ones so far. Just hit that Drew Jones. We had a Montes early for the Mariners. See if we can grab some of our other bigger names. Maybe Cam Collier. Some nice color for some more teams. Difference in pitching in the cold. Huh. That actually be a pretty fun thing to look at. Look at. Because I know it's not gonna get too cold here from April to September. And it's obviously never experienced some October stuff, so. But I'd like to see, you know, I'm pretty sure he's pitched a fair amount of Seattle night games in, in, in the fall, in the, in the spring and maybe late September. That'd be a fun little report to do, do some digging into, some research.
penultimate box here, folks. Let's keep it going. We got a couple golds, paper and chrome, but let's see if we can get something a little lower. Maybe some orange, maybe a red, maybe a shoe. Maybe you said it, not me. First auto of this box for the Reds. It's gonna be Carlos Jorge, 83 out of 150. Cincinnati Reds and David. Yeah, I would I I think it gets kind of roughed up in here, actually. I don't know if it's just if it's against the ankles ankles, the Yankees or if it's a Yankee Stadium thing though. I'll have to do some research. Riley Green spotlight for the Tigers. I don't know I don't know if they're gonna trade him. I think you know they're still pretty competitive. I think they're what, like a couple, like two or three games back from the AL West right now. Kinda wide open. But I do suspect, suspect he'll be a Dodger by the fall. 117 out of 125, Kenny Gomez. One more for Houston. One more for Matthew. Choke out punk. That'd be so funny. Spencer Jones. Tap him out. I think all the owners can afford to sign whoever they want. But I think... I think what's-his-name, their dumb owner, will, like, offer him the, the, the boat. I could be wrong, you know? He would absolutely be somewhere else. Roger Garris on that Lunar. One more for the Yanks along with that Spencer Jones. Saved up a little bit earlier. Nice Nolan Gorman spotlight. He's been pretty awesome for the Cardinals and David. Shatter Machine. Go to sleep. Austin Charles out of three ninety nine for the Royals. I don't call the Royals names too much. I was going to David. Lime green paper. Chrome first. Next auto. Nice. So next we got him twice. Lazaro Montez. One more refractor auto. 301 out of 499. Lazaro Montez Bowman first refractor auto. One more for TJ and the Mariners. Nice. Nice collision. Nacho McGinnis did not commit with beat CM Punk's ass. What a shame. Collier, Spencer Jones, Chrome Firsts. Next auto, Brock Jones for the Tampa Bay Rays. That's going to Matthew. Got the Rays straight up. James Wood, 40, 485 out of 499 for the Nats and David. Hey, thanks, man. It was, uh, it was, enough was enough, and it's time for a change. 
Just something to spice things up. And for practical reasons, too. Having hair that long and that thick is kind of a nightmare in the summer. <laughs> Gets in the way when I'm working here, doing my thing. And I don't like the bun. I don't like the tail. It's like having my hair do its thing. I always wanted to dye my hair, too. We gotta start with the bleach here. Maybe in a couple months we'll do, uh... Some kind of colorful and vibrant. Some lavender, maybe. Maybe a blue, maybe a green. Who knows? I've had a few people here and in person say, You look so much younger. I don't think I like that. <laughs> You know, I kind of like the mature look. What can I say? All right. Last box here. What a pretty dang good case. Let's see if we can end it on at least one more banger. It is a little brown and gold, huh? <laughs> Just for you, John. I really like your Padres. Trace brown and gold. Carry that as a Dodger fan's a little hurtful. But hey, I did it to myself, huh? <laughs> On half more than 20 years. Yeah. No, I feel I actually I've been I'm interested to see because like, you know, it's gonna require maintenance just because like, you know, the buzz is one thing. I can get that done like once a few weeks or even a month. But the color is going to be another. And I want to keep doing the color. Like, how long can I stand my hair not being short? It's it's a it's a weird little feeling. I forgot. My hair hasn't been this short since high school. So, it's weird. I was walking to my car after work yesterday. I got this on Thursday. Walking to my car yesterday. And it's like, oh my god, I can feel the sun on my scalp. You know, I can feel the breeze on the back of my neck. It's like a very weird sensation. That was the longest my hair had ever been. But it hadn't been not that long for a few years. It's a very bizarre sensation to, to remember. All right, last box here, folks. Like I said, let's get one more banger here. Something low number for someone. Next auto. One more for the Rockies. There we go. Another out of 50. Gold. Drew Romo. Both of our Bowman Scout Top 100 autos have been for the Rockies. Amador earlier. Drew Romo. Now, 2 out of 50 on the gold Top one top 100 prospect for Steven. And the Rockies got that one from the team ring. Spencer Jones paper. Ellie on the spotlight. Ellie lighting it up for the Reds. Going to David. And one more Spencer Jones paper. Aris on the spotlight for the Yanks. One more Justin Crawford. Marcus Lee Sang on the Lunar. 
Preston Harris, last card there. Marcus Lee Sang, Lunar first, going to the Phillies. Along with the Justin Crawford, both going to Robert, and then Arias going to the Yanks. For Robert. Hoops watching me All right. Last half of the last box. Thanks again, y'all. That one's always a good one. We can look at some prospects. We can look at how they're doing. Some rookies. Talk the future. Max Muncy, A's edition. 129 out of 199. One more for Jerry. Got the A's in that team random. Future. Kim Collier, Chrome first. Andy Machado at a 249 on our next auto. One more, Juan Alonso. Refractor this time. One more for Ryan. 325 out of 499 on the Juan Alonso Bowman First Refractor Auto. Manny, go into the Padres. And Kevin, didn't really call out. I haven't really called out the Padres name too often in this break. There we go, Kevin. Got you at least one on the, uh, on the magenta paper. Speckle coming up. Henry Ramos, 201 out of 299 for the Royals. And David, the Bowman for a Speckle. Last auto of the break. One more, Brock Jones. Base this time for Matthew. Got the raise straight up. That's, I believe, our last auto. Dang it, shorted one. We've had a few cases where there's one auto missing or one auto from a, the, a whole box worth of autos missing. So I'm glad business as usual here at Jazz Piece of Case Breaks. And the last stack here. We'll do a recap because it's a longer one. And one more matter of business to attend to before we call this one a break officially. One more Edward Julian. Host Soy Paul, Zach Gayloff, Drew Gilbert, Moises Ballesteros, NPG, and a Volpe. Bowman Scout Top 100. Number three prospect coming into this year. He's had some moments. You know, we're still rooting for the kid, obviously, even though he is a Yankee. Only a joke, Yankees fans. Just, a, just kidding. But a fun break. Nice golds all around. Some big names. Kind of the biggest name. Some autos of. Some nice dupes as well. Let's go through it. So obviously all these sleeved cards will be getting top voted. I got two big stacks of them. But we'll show off our autos. We'll save the best for last. Drew Romo, gold auto for the Rockies. Our first was our Amantis, refractor auto. Dominic Canzone out of 50. Let's wait to Paula Purple for the Dodgers out of 250. Nice Purple Adley out of 199 on the rookie. Juan Brown out of 100. Another Dominic Canzone. Another Montes refractor out of 499. Juan Alonso out of 50. The Josue de Paula out of 150. David was sweating a little bit. Two Dominic Canzone autos, and then right after the second one, the big one here. 243 out of 250 on the Drew Jones purple Bowman Chrome first auto. Big one here for David. Congrats again. But, like I said, one more matter of business to attend to. Let's switch screens. Let me take you off the site. Let me show you around to our break sheet. Let's grab all 30 of our names are in order from David down to David. Our fresh dice and our fresh list. This... Excuse me. It's for a wax party spot. Good luck, everyone. Everyone in this break. Straight up spots or one in the filler. Five and three, eight times. Good luck. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Eighth and final time. Top name only. So two down to 30 sad times, but plenty of chances to get into the wax party. Where your Sunday's best. David at two, down to Robert at three. Thanks again, y'all. Plenty more chances, though. All the breaks on the site designated with that wax party will be in there. So top spot. Congrats to David with the free spot. Nice. Wow. David with the free spot. Let's switch over here. All the way down. We've gone through a lot. Still have about 80 or so. So David, congrats again. P8 box. PYT number 25. David, congrats. And thanks again, everyone, for getting in this one. We got more baseball on the site, too. JazzFeedsCaseBreaks.com. Thanks again. Bye-bye.